Hi, I'm Brad Barnett, president of BFS. Okay, the market's good, money's cheap, and the White House is talking about deregulation and lower taxes. Everything looks like it's in your favor and you want to expand. That's great, okay? but make sure you do it the right way. It's not just when you expand, it's how you expand. The bankruptcy dockets are full of companies that were expanding. When you consider expansion, make sure you have the basics in order before you start investing your time and your money. Here are the basics. Number one, standard operating procedures or SOPs. If you don't have a well-organized set of SOPs, then you need to start there. Okay? At the level of four or five schools, owners are usually actively engaged in the schools. When you expand, your SOPs have to account for other people taking over your work at the ground level operations. You have to see your schools systematically instead of thinking work harder. Removing yourself from the operations can be very liberating. Number two, build it or buy it. You'll need to decide how you want to expand. Do you want to build new centers in schools? Do you want to buy operating schools? Do you want to buy your competition? Do you want to buy struggling centers for lower cost and, and bigger upsides? Do you want to buy schools at the top of their game? Do you want to diversify from the demographic that you currently serve? Every question is important. Number three, business plan. Have a well-organized business plan for yourself, and for your bankers, partners, investors, private equity firms, your rich uncle, whoever's funding the expansion. Number four, financing. Get pre-qualified for the financing you'll need. It's not difficult if you work with people who know what they're doing. Try to avoid the resident 12-year-old banker sitting in the lobby desk. Okay, he's probably a good, smart kid, but you need experience, not someone who's filling out an application for you. If you have questions about the cost, options, and availability of financing, see our website, www.bfsinc.net, where you can download our free ebook and use it like a reference book to help you with your financing questions. Number five, labor market. Know your labor market. Finding good teachers and directors is always a challenge. Hey, make sure you have access to these people, especially if you are considering building facilities from the ground up. Number six, economic changes. When everything's going well, it's very easy to feel like everything will continue to go well. You could make an emotional decision and everything might go perfectly, but it's better to be measured and deliberate in your expansion plans. Make sure you can make the necessary adjustments if your expansion gets caught by an economic downturn. It's really not difficult to plan for the rainy days too. It can be very difficult when you get caught unprepared. Number seven, professional help. Engage your CPA, attorney, and other necessary professionals in your planning process. Surround yourself with people who aren't afraid to tell you no. If you surround yourself with yes people, you're just listening to the sound of your own voice. It's best to get multiple viewpoints and improve your analysis. If you want to know more, you can call us at 800-467-1774 or you can visit us at www.bfsinc.net where you can use our free video library or get a copy of our free ebook to make your early education company more successful.